So this is the new First United Tactical Channel. The last one got deleted by accident. Don't even ask. But I'm back. I'm putting all of the same footage and videos back on this channel. And then all the new content's going to start. New field test, new radio test, new antennas, new mobile, you name it. It's all coming. Subscribe, and we will see you shortly. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Woo. That did it. Hey everybody, it's David with First United Tactical. Today we're going to be talking about handheld radio antennas. I know the question on everyone's mind is which one's best, which one talks the farthest, which one is not this long, and does this work just as well as this? We're going to use two identical radios. They're going to be the TID H8 models. They're both identical, both set on the same power range, which is high. We're going to be using GMRS, obviously. And the unit is going to be this Surecom. It's a SR112. It's a recording simplex unit. What it does is it takes in a signal, records it, and then broadcasts it back out on the same channel. What that'll tell you is from point A to point B, if you actually have, if you're a mile away from each other and you have static in here, it's going to record that static and broadcast the exact same thing back out to you. So that's why it's important to have two of the same radios, two same power levels. So we're going to be doing that. It's going to be a really fun test. We're going to be testing out quite a few antennas here. We actually have a factory Ocean Q10 rubber duck. It's actually a pretty good antenna, by the way. We have the factory uh, TID, the H8 GMRS. This is actually a really good rubber duck fake antenna. Then you got your typical Baofeng. Eh, just a Baofeng. Now, expert power. I think this is a 667. A lot of people have talked about it. They've all said it works really well. It's a 2 meter, 70 centimeter. I went ahead and got it anyway because it was only like 10 bucks. And uh, I figured it's close enough to the 440 range that I might be able to use it on GMRS. So we're going to find out today. We'll see how well it works. We're also going to be trying out this Abri foldable 18.8. We also have a Nagoya 771G. This is a favorite. This is a really good antenna. There's not too much. I, there's no bad things I can say about this antenna, actually. I mean, it does have its length, but you got to have it with a, with a uh, GMRS uh, anyway. So, and these other two, these are just, this is like a, a factory Grival. It's a, it's a knockoff Baofeng. Uh, it is a two meter, 70 centimeter, but we're gonna try it out anyway, just to see if it's any good. Came in with a box. Well, looks like we might actually have to go farther. All right, I'll see you at the next one. And we also have the factory extended range TID radio. So this right here is the recording unit we're gonna be using. Everything that we're using here today is linked in, uh, in the descriptions below. If you have any questions, comments, put them below. I'm pretty quick at replying back. Uh, I, know, I know which one of these you guys think is actually gonna win, but I bet I'm gonna shock you. So stay tuned, let's have some fun. All right, here we are, location A, Baofeng, location A. WRZU-993 testing, WRZU-993 testing, one, two, three. TID radio. WRZU-993 testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. WRZU-993 testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Ocean Q10 stock rubber duck. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Expert power. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Nagoya 771G. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. No static whatsoever, as expected. Abri 
This is actually advertised as GMR. It's, it's actually advertised as a all around good, good antenna. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Since these other ones are doing pretty well, we'll go ahead and head down to the next one, and then we'll pull out the other other stock radios that are that are probably going to do pretty well. See you in a sec. Here we are, location number two, Baofeng. Probably won't do too much. WRZU993 testing, testing one two three, testing, testing one two three. TID factory rubber ducky. Testing, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Perfectly clear. Expert. Testing, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Ocean Q10 stock rubber duck. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Crystal clear. All right. There's no sense in checking out the Nagoya or a Brie right here. We know it's going to do well. Let's head on to the next one. Location three, Baofeng. WRZU 993. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Nope, didn't make it. TID. WRZU-993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. WRZU-993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Very nice. Ocean Q10. There we go. WRZU-993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yep. All right. Let's head on down the road. Let's see if we can get farther down, then use the big antennas. We know they're going to work here anyway. All right, here we are. Location number four. Baofeng. Probably won't make it, but we're trying it anyway. We're about five miles away. WRZU 993. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. TID WRZU 993 testing one two three testing one two three didn't make it WRZU 993 testing one two three no didn't make it Ocean Q10 WRZU 993 testing one two three testing one two three Expert power. WRZU 993 testing one two three testing one two three. All right, now, now that we actually have some distance, we're gonna try out this Graval. It is a two meter seventy centimeter, but let's just see how it works on GMRS. WRZU 993 testing one two three testing one two three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That was actually a little bit better. So the, the extension does make a difference. Let's try the stock extended TID. The stock shorty works pretty well. Let's see what this does. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's what it is. I'm probably too close to the truck. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty good. I want to try this ocean again. Ocean's pretty good. I want to see what happens over here. 
Testing, testing, one, two, three, Ocean Q10, Q10. These small ones, we got a lot of rolling hills and stuff like that out there, out here. Nagoya 771. WRZU 993 testing a breed, nope, Nagoya 771G. 771G testing. Pretty good. All right. A Brie 18.8. WRZU 993 testing a Brie 18.8 antenna. Testing, testing a Brie. I don't even think that went. Testing, testing. Testing. Testing, testing, testing. It went, I'm not sure what happened. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. three. It's cutting out. So, by far, the Nagoya 771G is definitely making the trip. All right, let's try one more location and see what, what happens. All right, here we are. Should be the last location, TID radio, TIDI antenna. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing one, two, three. actually really good for a stock antenna. Ocean Q10. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Woo! That did it. Let's try the expert power. Keep in mind, this is not even a GMRS antenna. This is two meter, 70 centimeter. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. It's pretty good. I think it's, I think it's like $13 bucks now. It used to be $10, bucks, but here we go. Nagoya 771G. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's coming through good. That was pretty nice. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the recording to find out, because I'm pretty sure, I think that TID stock actually did about as good. A Brie 18.8, testing one, two, three. Testing a Brie 18.8, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. It's not making it. That was the shocker. Long range TID stock GMRS. Let's see. WRZU 993, testing 123, testing 123 to radio extended range stock antenna. WRZU 993, testing 123, testing 123 to radio extended range stock antenna. This is that uh, Graval. Same thing, extended range, 15 and a half inch, whatever it is. Super, super wobbly, but it's not a signal stick. WRZU 993, testing, one, two, three, testing, Grival, extended range, testing. WRZU 993, testing, one, two, three, testing, Grival, extended range, testing. Well, Looks like we might actually have to go farther. All right, I'll see you at the next one.
All right, here we go. Ocean Q10. Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. TID. Testing one two three WRZU 993 testing Nagoya. This location we're actually on the other side of a small town. Buildings, lots of power lines. Before we were out in the country. Some rolling hills, trees, but that's about it. A Brie 18 inch. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's trying. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Expert power. We're about to find out how much of an expert this is. WRZU 993, WRZU 993, testing, expert power 669, testing, testing one, two, three. That's about it. Let's go back to the computer and see what we did. Hey everybody, so what'd you think? Do you guys have an antenna that I don't have that you'd like to see tested? Put it in the comment below. I'll make sure I pick one up and I'll definitely run some tests on it for you. If there's anything else that you can think of, put it in the comments below. Any gear, any other reviews. Um, we are an FFL. We do firearms, bags, survival, knives, you name it. So we do a lot of things here. Uh, the channel is going to be pretty big here shortly. So we're working out as many videos as we possibly can. Can't wait to see you soon. Thanks a lot.